I need you to go find a mirror right now and tell yourself, I'm possible. I'm possible. I'm possible. It's like when you look in a rear view mirror. When you look in the rear view mirror, the words read things in the mirror are closer than they appear. And I need every one of you young men and young ladies to understand that your dreams and your goals, they're right there in front of you. And the only difference between people who lose and people achieve is the person who achieved tried one more time. And so we're all waiting for perfect. It's an illusion that will never come to you. And it's an excuse to never show up and play. Your story is not meant to be your fortress. Your story is meant to be your fuel. As long as that heart is pumping blood, you're not dead yet. They haven't put rose petals on your box yet. Make sure every breath you take counts for something. That dream is not going to wait and say, take a breather. It's going to say, come catch me. Catch me if you can. The one thing you need to do to go where you've never gone before, to have what you've never had before, is to change the way you think. Tell yourself, I am more than my circumstances. I am more than my demons. I am great, and I will give my gift to the world. If it don't challenge you, it won't change you. If it won't challenge you, it won't change you. You can't do what everybody else is doing and think you're going to do something great. You got to do something different. You got to do something extra. Listen to me. You have to think it all the time. You got to think about it when you're sleeping. You have to breathe it all the time. You have to visualize it all the time. You have to be transforming all the time. You want the impossible to become possible for you. You got to believe in yourself. You got to go make it happen. But I promise you this, you're never going to know if you can sink or if you can swim unless you jump in the water. Somebody that says that something is impossible has not tapped into the power of their will. God has a plan. You will grow through what you go through. Impossibility versus possible is a matter of will. People that get the job done, they have a will to get it done. So many of us are so focused on the how, and we say the how is so cumbersome, it is so daunting, it is so hard, so challenging, that I don't want to do it because, because that how is too crazy. The how doesn't matter. It's, it's the why. What is impossible is possible for those who believe. Stop thinking about they and start thinking about you. You matter, right? But there's a reason why I told you matter. I didn't, I didn't tell you you matter just to hear myself talk. Like, I, I didn't say you matter because I, I wanted you to get on some emotional roller coaster. No, the reason why I told you you matter is because you'll never have, you'll never be, you'll never do. Listen to me, you'll never experience life the way you were supposed to experience life until you recognize that you matter. Now, now, it's important for me to let you know that you are powerful beyond measure. Listen to me, I told you last week because perhaps, perhaps, I don't know, your daddy wasn't in your life, your mother wasn't in your life. I don't know, you didn't have a mentor. I don't know, but you, you may have never heard someone look you in your eye, look you in your soul, and tell you that you not only matter, you're powerful. Within yourself that there's something you want to do and I believe that all of us are born with a purpose that all of us have something that we are supposed to do that all of us have some goodness within us and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness and when you know that you can feel it in your guts and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential you've gotten comfortable you stop expanding you stop stretching you stop challenging yourself let me share something else with you not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. You decide I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. See, that will start making you do some stuff. See, a lot of people go to work every day miserable, and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are. But you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. So if it's hard, then do it hard. Now, 
What do you, how do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? Les, you must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. Period. A friend of mine who walks, he runs a marathon and he says, when he's running the 26 mile marathon, he said, let's say that hypothetically, that 18th mile is the wall. He said, Les, when you get there and you're running, he says, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It seems like you're moving at slow motion. And then eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, then you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you glide on in and you know it's there. You know you're going to get to the finish line. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible. And we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. All the people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked. You were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard. It was rough. It was difficult. But to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level you know can nothing stop me now. I'm no better than none of y'all. I'm not a better person than you. I'm not a better Christian than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. Listen to me, it's not what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is, though, it's very doable. See, if but you got to change from it. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. Listen. Getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. It's not God picks certain people he'll make rich and certain people he don't. He gives all of us as his children the power of choice. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. People need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, there's no um, I'm going to get into school to be this or that. And still perform to the highest level. Because what people don't get is one day that thing's going to come up. And if you're not constantly performing without purpose, you're not gonna be ready when the time comes. It's this magical thing, purpose, that we're all looking for. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you.